So I'm here today. I know the camera is a little wobbly, but I wanted to do real quick a video on um, how's my style, like what I like to wear, what's my favorite things to wear. And it's a mixture of things that I've bought in, as well as a lot of dresses that I've sewed, because I love to sew. I'm going to be moving soon. This is my first dress that I've ever sewed. Skulls and roses. I just love this pattern. Here's my hand to give you an idea of the size. So, in the whole dress, it's a halter top. I did satin ribbon across the under bust and the halter top ribbon satin. Um, it's really tight fitting, like a wiggle dress. So, secondly, I lined all my stuff up here. This was the best dress I've ever made. Like, it fits just amazing on me. Um, as you can tell, it's another halter. I'm infatuated with halters right now. And it's got a full swing style skirt here. And it's just cherries and polka dots. And it's really bright. It's probably not coming up as it is. But these, this red of the cherries is extremely bright. And it's just a really cute shirt. Or not shirt, dress. Again, one I've sewed myself. Here's another one I've sewed myself. I buy like one pattern and when I really like a pattern I kind of use it to make a million dresses. And besides most of the dresses that like Hot Topic and Torrid and stuff are the same style so I'd rather make them. And I also made this one. It's like a red bandana print all over. Again, the full full skirt halter top again and a nice deep V in the bust area and then I also right here is a nice bit of fabric and it really cinches in the waist so that looks really nice oops again another dress I made I think I'll get I'll show you guys all the stuff I made first this one's a really nice pattern. It's a tattoo Sailor Jerry style. See, there's like hula girls and little mom tattoos, mermaids, dice, skulls, butterflies. Yeah. Oh, and then there's the pinup girl. And I made this one, the style, a little different. The top is a halter top again with a deep V. And the bottom, I kind of just free handed it. It's kind of tight, but it's like, um, I forget what you call it, but I put like a little fake bow right here. And then I did this ruffle detail all the way around. Um, not a wrap dress. I forget what they call it, but anyway, yeah. And it's like, um, Hawaiian style. I forget what they call it, but that's the other one I love. I just love, love, love this. And I have some fabric left over, and that's going to be turned into a shirt. This is not a dress yet or anything yet, but I just wanted to show you this is going to be something very soon. And I again bought this at Joanna's. I love this. It's really cute. I'm just giving you a sense of my personal style here. Again, every girl that likes like rockabilly stuff or whatever has to have the polka dotted halter dress. Yeah. So, yeah. I made this one as well. Real simple. I seriously got three yards at Walmart for $12. So I made this dress for $12. Yeah. Anyway, here's one that I really altered. <laughs> it's like a t-shirt dress style. It buttons up with these big buttons. It's bright red with white polka dots. And it was two sizes too big. It was like seriously a 4X. And I'm only a 2X. So I had to really do it. And it was really long. And I cut half the dress off. <laughs> so. Again. Something I went off eBay. I just actually got this today. I am in love with this. And this is what I'm going to wear for Christmas. I seriously got this for like $3. And it's just a three-quarter sleeve top and has a nice black bottom, banded bottom. And I love this right here under the empire waist, under the boobs. Cinch in my waist because that's my smallest part. I got to switch areas here. 
because all my stuff's over here. Now, as far as cardigans go, my husband bought me this cardigan when we were dating and uh, for Christmas one year. And I love it. Some um, Sears, I think. And it was just a plain black one. And then I put this patch on here. I think it's a Betty Page patch on the eyeball. I got it at one of the car shows we entered in. <laughs> it was like $3. And you can see it's just like shiny right here on the, you know, the buttons around the collar. And on the sleeves. It has just little buttons. And it's a lot cheaper to buy a plain black cardigan and put your own patches on than it is to buy one of those like Lucky 13 ones. I don't even go there. Like I said, I'm cheap and I like cheap and I don't like to spend money. So I'd rather just do it myself. It's probably a weird view of my face. This is one of the things that I have spent more money on. Like I think I actually paid full price for this. And love you baby. And it's just a ruched pencil skirt from Torrid. Love you. And I believe it was $50. But I love it. It's really comfortable. Sorry, I have hiccups. It's stretchy. It has a nice high skit. Oh, skit. Slit. <laughs> nice big slit in the back for walking so you don't get twisted up. And I usually pair it with this top. This is a Lane Bryant top. I got this on eBay. <laughs> I love eBay. I am an eBay girl. I got this top on eBay. Perfect size for me. And I believe it was $4 plus like $3 shipping. So it was originally probably 40 bucks, and I got it for a lot cheaper. I bought this on clearance from Torrid for $18. Or they were having like a half off day or something like that. If you're in their, part of their diva style club or whatever thing there is and it's just a blazer it's like um feels like dress pants like type material and has a waist uh lace waist a really nice lace and it has three buttons and it's just really nice and i wear this a lot especially when i want to look really nice <laughs> here's another item i bought on ebay it's a torrid dress halter style with these bright colored flowers. Hold on, my daughter wants to get up here. And, um, yeah. It's just really nice. I got it. My sister actually bought this one for me for my birthday. And I think it was like $18 with like $3 shipping. I love this dress. I've worn this dress on 4th of July. I've worn it so many places. Um, another eBay. It's like um, a corset. It's... It's not a fake, uh, real one, obviously. It's just stretchy. But, you know, it laces up the back here. And, yeah. I think I got that for $5. I made this. This is a red pencil skirt. I bought the fabric on eBay. I got, like, three yards for 20 bucks, And it's got tattoo stuff, cherries. I don't know what that says. Butterfly. You know, stuff like that. But it's a pencil skirt that I made. And the last thing I'm going to show you is this. This used to be a pair of maternity pants that I bought from Target. Oh, she's stealing it. Mm. Anyway, so <laughs> I bought those maternity pants from Target. And obviously they were only good for when I was pregnant. <laughs> and obviously my daughter's two years old. So instead of just getting rid of them, you know, which I know a lot of people could use them, but I just couldn't. Like, I liked those pants. They were just such a nice pattern. So I turned them into a really nice pencil skirt with a slit up the back and everything and brought in the waist a little bit. And now I wear it high up because a lot of the maternity things are high-waisted. So I just did that, and I love it. It goes with everything. It's like a nice brown color. So that's, I hope you guys learned a little more about my style now. And I hope you like this video. And I'll have to come back and show you my shoes and accessories. Ooh, she's mad now. <laughs> I'll come back and show you guys my shoes and accessories in another video. But thanks for watching. And uh, let me know how your guys' style is. Show me um, what you guys like to wear or anything you've made or remade or anyway. whatnot. All right. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.